This is Miriam Tucker reporting from the annual meeting of the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists. I'm here with Dr. James Thrasher, who uh, prese is presenting a study on a drug, linagliptin, in African Americans with type 2 diabetes. Um, can you talk about why it's important to study uh, a drug in a particular group of people? Well, African Americans um, have a much higher rate of type 2 diabetes. They're 77 percent more likely to have uh, type 2 diabetes than uh, white non-Hispanic uh, patients with diabetes. Uh, also, in clinical trials, they tend to be underrepresented. So that's why we chose this group to, to study lenagliptin uh, in a clinical trial, looking at specifically blacks and African Americans. Um, they also have tend to have um, higher rates of complications. So we wanted to, to assure that this drug was efficacious in this group that's high risk. And you found that it was efficacious. Yes, it was. In all measures of high, of all measures of glycemia um, compared to placebo, this drug this drug uh, showed significant improvements and clinically relevant improvements. Is this the first time a, a, at least a diabetes drug has been looked at in a particular ethnic group? Uh, as far as my knowledge, this this is the first ever reported um, study uh, in blacks and African Americans in in patients on DPP-4 inhibitors. And do you think more trials should be done in this in in various groups? Uh, hopefully so. I hope this le leads to more studies in in minorities, not just with blacks and African Americans, but also maybe Hispanics and other groups, uh, just just to make sure that since they also have higher rates of diabetes than whites, and they are also underrepresented in clinical trials, uh, that we assure that all these drugs are efficacious in each one of these uh, minority groups and ethnic groups.